There are so many types of land that you could invest in and some can make you, some can break you. So today we're going to talk about the four types of land and which one you should invest in because it's the most profitable. You know, real estate is just in my DNA. I just kind of knew it made sense that people make money in real estate. Isn't that obvious? And yet, most people don't understand that it's all kinds of different things when it comes to real estate. There's commercial, and there's land, and there's residential, and there's warehouses. And so, let, we're, today we're gonna talk about land, why there are four types of land that you should be looking at, and one that's the most profitable for you. So why should we be investing in real estate, specifically land? Land is getting scarcer and scarcer and scarcer, and therefore it becomes more and more valuable. Every year, demand for real estate increases, families have children, newcomers move into the area, and even older people look for new homes and new lifestyles. However, though the demand increases, the supply of real estate is limited. That's what you want as a business person. You want something that has a limited supply and increasing demand. Duh, that is just how entrepreneurs make money. However, when it comes to land, you gotta be careful. There are lots of different types of land and only one I think is what you should be looking at. So the first type of land is undeveloped land. Have you ever driven down the freeway and you see land forever and you're saying to yourself, how could this be scarce? There's so much of it and yet, as you get closer to the cities, you find that it becomes more and more developed. But should you be investing in undeveloped land? And in my opinion, no, especially as a beginner, no. Undeveloped land is land located far away from metropolitan centers and has no immediate potential for development. Sometimes people mistakenly invest in this type of land because it is cheap, but it is often a waste of time and resources. So why did I say no? Well, because the demand is so small for that type of land. Uh, not very many people are buying that. That's why the prices are so cheap. You want to stay away from things that are undeveloped because beginners just don't know the value of it. It's only when you get closer to the developed areas that beginners can make money. Second type of land, recreational land. Typically forests or mountains. This type of land has legal restrictions that prevent it from being developed or being used for anything other than recreation or conservation purposes. Unless you are an experienced investor, you should stay away from recreational property. Now, from my own personal experience, my beginning mentor was a multimillionaire in residential real estate, and then he tried his hand in recreational property, but the economy went south big time, and therefore he couldn't sell this land that he had developed up in the mountains. Why? Because during economic uncertainty. People don't want to spend money on recreational property. It's kind of like a, an extra uh, expenditure. So therefore, I would suggest that you stay away from that. Maybe buy your own recreational property to play with for your family, but not as an investment. Nope. The third type of land is agricultural land. Unless you wish to become a farmer, this type of land is typically not an ideal investment. Many farms have restrictions that require the land to be used for agricultural purposes rather than for commercial development. Now, can you make money in agricultural land? Are you kidding? Of course you can. But the reason farmers get really, really rich is that they farm on the land while the land is going up in value, and then they subdivide it and make multi, multi millions. But it might take them 30, 40 years to do that. So I would suggest that you stay away from agricultural land and focus on the next area of land, which is the most profitable. The fourth area, yeah, is urban, suburban land. Most real estate investors focus on some type of urban or suburban property. This land is valuable because it is located in a town that has a significant number of people. This is the kind of property you should consider for nothing down investment strategies. Now, why? Why? Because of demand. Demand and supply. Demand, more and more people want to live in that city, therefore higher, higher demand, but the supply is getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Therefore, if you own property in that kind of location, the property is going to be forced up in value as more and more people move into that city. And they said there are going to be 440 million people by the year 2040. 
Yes, there are disadvantages to vacant land. We call it an alligator. Land is not a bad investment, though it can be risky for a beginning investor. As opposed to property, land does not generate a cash flow through rental income. While it may appreciate in value, it acts like an alligator eating up an investor's capital through monthly payments. And that's one of the reasons why I myself don't invest in land, or any kind of land, frankly. And yet I have a couple of really smart friend investors, and that's all they do. They go into cities where all, a lot of vacant land is located in developed lots, and they do a lot of uh, research to find out where these developed lots are, and then they invest in those lots, and then they flip them. Why flip them? Well, what does that mean? That means to buy it, to tie it up, to find something where the values are, are solid, and then to find another investment who maybe wants to build on that land. And therefore, a flipper can flip vacant land and make serious chunks of cash, not cash flow, but can make quick cash doing that. And therefore, if you're going to do anything with land, that's probably what you should be doing, locating single lots that are undeveloped that where the time is for them to be developed, and therefore somebody's looking for it, demand, and therefore you can profit from it. So you want to get involved in any kind of real estate? This is the book that's going to show you exactly how to do that. The principles of how you buy with little or no money down. This is me going to an unemployment line and showing people how they can make $5,000 in 90 days, $100,000 in 12 months. The principles here are the creative mindset. Even if you find a vacant lot that you like to buy with little or no money down, this is the book that teaches you the principles of how you do that. And so I want you to click on the link down below and order this book. I guarantee you read this book all the way through, it'll change the way you look at real estate in all areas of your life. Hey, thanks for watching. And if you really love this kind of stuff, then subscribe, you know, ring the bell. And if you want to learn more, then you know how to go to the next video because there's really good stuff in that one.